Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neom. We're going to talk about that Doctor Who episode, that Doctor Who episode, Fugitive of the Jadoon. Talked about a little bit the other day with Geeky, our, our first reaction to an episode that basically turns Doctor Who on its ear. And um, we're going to talk about, you know, the potential explanation. And I don't, I don't think there is an alternative explanation. I think she is canonically the doctor spoiler spoiler if you haven't seen it yet it's been out for days and everybody's talking about it uh there is a new doctor that could potentially be a doctor that predates william hartnell or predates uh you know doctor two or doctor three we don't know where she fits in the timeline but the point of this being is that the current showrunner chris chibnall decided to throw the fandom a curveball uh to put it mildly by showing that the doctor was at one point an african-american female before she was uh many many white men uh so you know this is this is doctor who 2020 guys um so anyway before we get into it please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants we're at almost a hundred thousand a hundred thousand subscribers uh, thank you so much for the support, guys. It's been awesome. We talk about pop culture. We talk about changes in pop culture. We talk about comics and animation, movies and TV shows. And we talk about Doctor Who because it's on right now, basically. Uh, now, just to recap for those of you who haven't been watching the channel, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Series 11 or Series 12. I uh, don't like the direction they've been taking Doctor Who because I thought it was very, very boring. Uh, you know, very preachy, very boring. Now, I will say, in the defense of this episode, Fugitive of the Jadoon, this is probably the most Doctor Who feeling episode of Who since Jodie Whittaker set foot in the TARDIS. I will give them that. We had Captain Jack, we had the Jadoon, uh, the episode didn't drag. I was actually kind of curious what was going on, um, and I haven't felt that way about Doctor Who in a very, very long time. Uh, it did feel almost like a throwback to Russell T. Davies. Now, the elephant in the room is that they blow a hole in the mythology of Doctor Who. Now, I've heard theories that this new Doctor, played by Joe Martin, is is probably a parallel universe Doctor or another uh, incarnation of the Doctor that's not like a legit Doctor, and that's been debunked. She absolutely is a legit Doctor, which just basically raises a whole lot of questions whole lot of questions here uh and i think uh, the doctor who fandom is going to be debating about this for years whether or not this was a good idea there's still people who aren't real happy with the war doctor you know sneaking in another regeneration that we'd never seen before but at least we had i think more of a plausible explanation for the war doctor because doctor who was off the air for quite some time and we never saw eight regenerate into nine so again you know you can kind of play around with it and you know look doctor who continuity is all over the freaking place anyway but the thing about this though is it does definitely blow a hole in the continuity and it also does seem from my point of view just my opinion a little bit of trolling a little bit of trolling of the fandom who wasn't on board with jody whittaker having a female doctor because now the showrunners are basically like, oh, the Doctor was female and black before she was all those men. Which, again, raises a lot of questions. <laughs> you know? But, you know, it's it's it definitely feels like this is a, a, a response to people who weren't happy with Jodie Whittaker being in the TARDIS. Like, oh, hold my beer. We're going we're gonna to show you. We're going to show you something you didn't know. We're just going to make this up, though, and retcon the show. Uh, so this is coming from The Mirror. The first black Doctor Who, Joe Martin, is definitively the Doctor confirms the show boss. She is not a parallel universe Doctor. She's not uh, some other version of the Doctor. It's not the Master pretending to be the Doctor. It's not a Doctor clone or any of these other theories. She is a legit Doctor. And again, this raises so many questions now. Exclusive Doctor Who bosses have confirmed Joe Martin is definitively playing the Doctor and she didn't know what she was auditioning for. Um, so Joe Martin, who will play the second female Time Lord, is the real thing, according to Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall. Fans were astounded last night 
couple days ago now, when a new doctor arrived to compete with Jodie Whittaker's version, even bringing her own TARDIS. Chibnall said that Martin, who becomes the first black actor in the iconic role, is not playing, is not playing a fake or phony version. The important thing to say is she is definitely, definitively the doctor. There's not a sort of parallel universe going on. There is no tricks. Joe Martin is the doctor. That's why we gave her the credit at the end, which all new doctors have the first time you see them. John Hurt got that credit. That's the closest thing I can think of. We've got all these other versions of the doctor being snuck into the timeline here. It's not clear where Martin's version, whose human name in the plot is Ruth Clayton, fits in the history of the 13 Doctors. Fans are guessing she could be shoehorned between Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee because she did not recognize the sonic screwdriver, but did have the police box TARDIS. Uh, when she was invited to audition, they didn't know, she didn't even know she was going to be Doctor Who. Now, here's the thing. Uh, in the interest of fairness, she's actually not bad. I'm going to be honest, she's really not that bad. In fact, when you put her in scenes with Jodie Whittaker, uh, she seems to be enjoying the role a hell of a lot more than Jodie Whittaker does. But it does raise a lot of questions, you know, and it's, it's you know, I, I think it's just kind of the, the attitude that a lot of custodians of classic uh, franchises have now, which is let's, you know, update this current year, but let's, in... You know, as we do that, let's also sort of give a finger to past continuity. And we saw it with Star Wars. You know, we saw how badly they treated Luke Skywalker. We see retcons all the time. We see what's going on with Star Trek. And I understand updating shows for new audiences. But it does feel like there is a trolling of longtime fans uh, that comes with that. And, uh, you know, again, when you take established canon... Which, again, with Doctor Who is all over the freaking place, but I get it. But, you know, we've already in New Who established this is the timeline of the Doctor. Uh, Matt Smith's Doctor, before he got another regeneration cycle, already accounted for all of his regenerations, including uh, two tens and the War Doctor. So now we're going to throw <laughs> now we're gonna throw this random new Doctor into the mix. Uh, probably, again, my personal feeling, just to troll the fans who are like, oh my god, you have a woman in the TARDIS. And they're like, hold my beer. Hold my jelly babies. Uh, here we go, guys. Uh, you're really going to love this. So that's that's kind of what it feels like. Again, I don't think she's bad in the role. Uh, I think especially when you put her you put her next to Jodie Whittaker, it's kind of like, wow, uh, somebody likes being here and somebody really doesn't care. You know, so... But, uh, you know, it's this, this is attitude toward, I think, uh, not respecting canon. And we see this a lot. We, we're seeing this more and more in shows. And I understand. Look, these shows, you know, Star Wars is getting up there. Star Wars is 45 years. Is it 45 years? It's, it's, it's almost 45 years old. Doctor Who is headed towards 60. Star Trek, 50, 60 years old. You know, I get you have to update things for newer audiences but you know you tend to lose longtime fans in the process when people have been following a show for decades and you throw them a curveball especially when you throw them a curveball that a lot of people could interpret as just being um kind of a trolling of the fandom just just because but uh it'll be interesting to see where this goes apparently she is a legit 100 percent legit doctor and again, in the interest of fairness, I'm not back on board with the show, but I will say that that episode felt the, the most like like Doctor Who of, of anything uh, that they've done in the last two years. I don't think it's going to last. I think it's going to be like, okay, well, we did that. Let's go back to uh, let's go back to edutaining you. We're going to go back to edutaining you now. So John Barrowman, they kept him uh, very secret. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd heard that they were going to possibly get David Tennant on board for this episode or at least uh, the second part of it or something. And the rumor is that uh, Jody Whittaker was going to lecture David Tennant, you know, on his toxic masculinity. That's a rumor. I don't think that that is uh, something I want to see. Hopefully they have the good sense if they were thinking that to not do it. Uh, again, this goes right along with Whittaker talking about getting an upgrade in the first episode of this season when fans are still getting used to the fact that we have uh, the first woman in the TARDIS, and uh, you know, if you're trying to win your audience back, or at least retain the 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 viewers you have, baiting them, 
probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. But the audience score is still in the gutter, 16%. Uh, I actually expected I expected more backlash from this episode. I expected more backlash than what uh, I'm seeing in the audience scores. I'll be honest. A lot of people are like, yeah, I'm out. But I really expected a lot more backlash. And the ratings are still not good. Now, there was an uptick. I think I think word got out that, well, obviously the Jadoom people are going to check it out. But word got out early that John Barrowman was going to be returning to Doctor Who for all of a minute and a half, two minutes. And, uh, you know, people checked it out. Now, I don't know if this is going to lead to an uptick or another downward uh, uh, drop-off in viewers. Uh, this is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But, yeah, there you go, guys. She is 100% canon. Uh, where she fits in, who knows? Who knows? Um, so, curious what your thoughts are. Leave a comment below. We'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.